News. I'm your host, the TNT Muffin. Today, we're going to be talking about U2's, the FNAF 2 movie, book canonicity, and more. Now, starting off with the U2's news, they have just recently revealed that these two waves of recolors have been canceled. If you didn't hear about this before, they were going to make these two waves of figures, like the black light and illuminant figures or something like that. I don't remember. But they just have said that they are no longer going to be making them. I assume they were going to be making these and then they ended up replacing them with the flocked and haunted figures so they no longer need these. Also on their Instagram page they post a video revealing the Glamrock Freddy Shoulder Rider plush. I assume this is going to be releasing alongside those Sun and Moon Shoulder Rider plushies I talked about in my last news video so it seems like we might get a whole wave of Secure Debris Shoulder Riders. I'm not sure if they're going to be making more of these or if it's just going to be those three but we'll have to wait and see. And on the YouTube's TikTok they actually just revealed another plush, which is the Sitting Down Toy Freddy. So I guess we're also going to be getting that, so maybe it's not a security breach wave, maybe it's just a new wave of Sitting Down plushies. It does happen sometimes where they just release a bunch of random stuff, not really with a theme. So it appears that's what they're doing with these guys. They've also revealed a 3D model of the Doug U2's figure, so that's pretty nice. We've already seen him before as a drawing. The 3D model is basically the same as the drawing, but it gives us a little bit of a better idea what the figure is actually going to look like. And then another thing here, which I'm not sure if it's going to be FNAF related or not, is that they revealed a MatPat figure is being made. So this could be just a regular MatPat game theory figure, or it could end up being Nest from the FNAF movie. We're not exactly sure with the timing of it being announced alongside the FNAF movie figures. That kind of makes me think it could be Ness, but it could also not be. We're just going to have to wait and see. Even if this isn't FNAF related, I'm sure a lot of you guys like Matt Pat, so that's a figure that's being made. Also, the Help Wanted wave of figures recently released. By the way, they're almost done. Like, it had two weeks for you to buy them. They're only a few days now at the time of posting this video, so... If you want those, get them fast. But what I wanted to talk about is alongside those figures, they also released this pin set. So it's a set of Help Wanted pins. They've got one of Shadow Mangle, Glitch Trap, Dreadbear, Grim Foxy, and another Glitch Trap pin. Luckily, unlike the figures, these pins aren't a limited time item. So if you don't really care about pins, there's not too much of an incentive to buy them. We also have some Funko news. Funko has just revealed their Jumbo Mr. Cupcake plush. I think this plush looks super good. Luckily, they didn't just reuse the old cupcake and, you know, make it bigger, give him different colored eyes or whatever. It is a completely new cupcake plush. I think they did a really good job with this one. The eyes are actually super detailed. He's got like a little bit of a darker outline around his eyes to show that they're indented a little bit. And I I assume the normal plush, the non jumbo one, is going to look similar to this, which is going to be cool as well. I'm curious to see what the other movie plushies are going to be. This one looks good, so I'm excited to see the rest. I guess while we're on the topic of merch, Hot Topic has just recently started selling these little pizza boxes of sour orange pizza slice candies. Now, I'm not exactly sure if these are little gummies or little hard candies. I don't know if they're arranged in a pizza shape or if they're just all thrown in the box but those are a thing now. Yeah, I always like it when candy for FNAF is made because I think edible merch is fun. So uh, I think that's kind of cool, I guess. Now on to the FNAF 2 movie news. In a recent issue by Production Weekly, the title Five Nights at Freddy's 2 was listed, confirming the movie is now in pre-production. Now this doesn't mean that the movie is being filmed or anything yet, but they are working on it and it will definitely be filmed this year. So I think it's safe to say we are going to get this movie, probably not this year, but definitely at least next year, which is really exciting. We had to wait like, I don't know, eight and a half half years or something like that for the first movie, so it's nice to see we're not gonna have to wait that long for the second one. Along with that, two actors for the movie have been revealed, which are Matthew Lillard and Piper Rubio. This was confirmed by Christian Stokes, an actor on the original movie, so apparently William Afton and Abby are going to be returning in the second movie. We knew the movie was going to be taking place at the FNAF 2 location, and we weren't really sure if that meant it was going to be a prequel or a sequel. I mean, that might have gotten confirmed a bit ago, but this definitely confirms it's going to be a sequel. 
Also, we do know for sure now that Josh Hutcherson is gonna be in the second movie. He gave a little update and he said, I know they're in the process right now of nailing down the story and they want to get going as soon as possible. And he also says, dying to get back on set, confirming that he is gonna be in the movie. We did all expect this, but you know, with those two before and him not being on there, it's nice to get actual confirmation on it. Yeah, Josh Hutcherson definitely gonna be in the movie. So we've got a pretty good idea of what some of the characters in this movie will be. We know for sure Matthew Lillard's gonna be William Apton, Piper Rubio's gonna be Abby. We'll probably be seeing Elizabeth Lail as Vanessa and Josh Hutcherson as Mike and then maybe Markiplier as well. So we're probably gonna get a pretty similar cast to the original movie, but I'm assuming we're gonna get a bunch of other new characters as well. I'm very excited for that movie and I'm looking forward to more news. All right, and then a small thing here from Scott Cawthon saying something about the character Doug. If you don't know the FNAF movie book released and there's this little part in the book saying that when Doug was at Sparky's, he like, looked at Max's chest or something, and that was strange. Basically made everyone love Doug to no longer love Doug, but Scott has put out a statement here saying concerning Doug, Hey everyone, some issues are much easier to address than others, and this is an easy one. As many of you know, Doug does something in the novelization that seems out of character from the Doug we all knew and loved from the movie. This specific item was deleted from the official transcript months before the book was printed, but maybe I accidentally submitted the wrong version to Scholastic, I'm not sure. Either way though, just to clear this up, Movie Doug is canon, Book Doug is not canon. This is something I will change in future prints. So there you go, Doug is a cool character, this one in the book, he's a phony. This, not, that doesn't matter, ignore that. So yeah, some good news there from Scott. All right, now on to a topic that I didn't think I'd ever have to talk about in a news video, the canonicity of the books with the games. All right, so basically what happened is somebody made a post with them talking an email to Scott Cawthon about the books and lore and stuff. Of course, it was not a real Scott Cawthon account and Scott made a response on Reddit. He said here, I'm not sure if the email itself was faked or if someone posing as me sent it, but anyone who knows me after all these years should know that this isn't how I would address such a serious topic. So let me take this opportunity to be as clear as possible. Concerning what people are saying about the canonicity of the books, yes, that is correct. I hope that this clears things up. Everyone have a great weekend. So of course, he's very vague there, not really confirming or deconfirming anything, but maybe he is, uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's definitely reminiscent of that question with people asking about Mangle's gender, because he's just so vague about it. Like, concerning what people are saying, yes. Although he is a little bit more specific, because he does say concerning what people are saying about the canonicity of the books, Yes, that is correct. Which, although very vague, I think it does kind of confirm that the books, or at least the new ones, you know, Tales from the Pizza Plex, are canon to in-game lore. Now, I'm not much of a lore guy. I dabble in it a bit, you know, learning what's going on every once in a while. For the most part, I don't know what's going on. I don't know most of the Tales stories, but some of them I do. And from a little bit of the stuff I've learned, this does make sense. Because you know with the Mimic and everything, the Mimic is now in the games. I think there's some stuff from like the GGY story with Gregory that goes with the games. So having Tales lore being the same as game lore makes sense to me. Although of course there is a bunch of stuff that I don't know. I don't know most of the stories, like I said. So there could be some outrageous stuff going on that if you're a book nerd, this could be wild to hear. I have no idea. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. From what I'm getting out of it, the Tales books are canon to the game lore. Maybe not, he is very vague, so it's hard to tell. I am curious to know what you guys think. And if they are, please give us some book characters in the game, Steel Wall. If we get a DLC to help one or two, I would love to see some of that stuff. I think that would be awesome. Like, imagine seeing Tiger Rock in VR. That would be sick. Yeah, so we'll have to see how that ends up happening. I don't know. We'll have to see in the future games if any book stuff comes into play more or if Scott ever says anything more about this or what happens. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. But that is all the news we have today. 
If you want to subscribe, you can click the button on top of my head. If you want to watch one of my last news videos, you can click that button over there. And if you want to see some other video I made, you can click that button over there. And I'll see you when we get some more news on the FNAF 2 movie.